Hello everyone and welcome to uh, what is a very short video covering the 20th topic in the AQA GCSE uh, computer science course. We're looking at uh, external co code sources and their uses. So um, we've only really got one slide for you today um, and unfortunately uh, um, the specification is very unspecific which isn't very specification like um, in this area and this topic so I'm using my common sense here this is such a broad term just external code it could mean anything but I assume it means that this is when websites share some of their code so that other programmers can integrate it into their own code on their own websites so uh, I've got two examples of websites that do this um, so the first one is Twitter so Twitter allows programmers to embed features of Twitter such as the timeline onto their website so um, in, I, I, I've never tried it but you can actually make your own widget um, on Twitter and it will and you can put your own timeline like your timeline of your tweets so on, you can embed like a, a box on your website and they give you the code for it and all you do is put it there and it comes up with your your tweets in real time and obviously that's quite cool it saves the programmer doing it himself or herself um, as we'll look at in a sec when we look at advantages and disadvantages so another website that does this is google and um, mainly the only really i'm sure they do it with lots of different projects but the main one i can think of is adsense um, adsense is google's ads um, so you can see on websites i've done this when i've made a website before i've embedded ads from google onto this um, you basically go on their AdSense website, create your own ad, you, you specify the size and height and what's going to be in it and they give you a code, you literally copy and paste it onto your website and it's good to go um, and this is an example of code from a external source which you haven't actually done yourself so let's have a look at advantages and disadvantages, so an advantage is that it saves the workload it saves it um, reduces the workload of the programmer because there's less to code. They don't need to code this, and it'd be I don't really know how you would even go about coding um, something from another website because it'd, it'd be very difficult to do anyway. You basically would have to be copying their code, which is I I wouldn't even know where to start. So it saves a lot of time and ease, but it also benefits the provider of the code. So for example, it benefits Twitter because they their their logo their name will be on this section of the website so it spreads their brand and their image and in the case of AdSense it will make them more money because you will get a percentage of the uh, ad revenue and the more ads that have been embedded on websites, the more money Google will make. Um, obviously, there are disadvantages. So, your disadvantage, they're mainly for the programmer. Um, the programmer has to integrate this different code into their own website, which may be hard. If, if they're coding it in a certain way, in a certain style, um, it's quite difficult to integrate foreign code into your um, website. Although, of course, this code has been written specifically with this in mind, so it's, it's been made as simple as possible. Um, but um, also, the, the code written has been designed not to be, it's not it's been designed so that it can't be changed easily easily um, because they don't want you to change their own code um, so there's no way of really changing it because for example if you have built a website with I don't know a column and you want to fill it with ads and the ads are wider than your column you can't change the size of the ads per se so instead you're going to have to change your website which is a disadvantage obviously um, but that's it for today's video really um, thanks a lot for watching and good luck